All right, hey guys, what's going on? Dan's news here. Yeah, we got the Christmas tree up. James actually set that up. I don't know about a week ago or so before, like we even had Thanksgiving and everything. Um, yeah, it's random. But um, right now, I'm going to give you guys an update on my Blu-ray collection. I haven't done one in a while. Um, it's been actually about a year, quite literally a year, since I've done a Blu-ray collection update. Um, and this was kind of spawned off of uh, me tweeting out. It's been a couple times that I've been I've, I've tweeted out my uh, my Blu-ray collection. It's um, it's massive. It's really, it's big. It's uh, it's throbbing. Wait, what? That's not a description that describes this. Anyway, um, it's I have a, I have a problem. I understand that. Um, but for the majority of you who do not or have not seen my collection, be prepared. It's quite. It's 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 wrong. It's wrong, but it's it's back there. All right. Well, let's show you. Let's get this set up. Twist the mic around. All right. Here we go. So this is my Blu-ray collection. Okay. Originally, um, probably the last the last video I did of my Blu-ray collection, I just had three shelves. These three shelves mostly filled up with Blu-rays. That was like November of last year, I believe. That's why I did those videos. And now, um, I have a lot more. <laughs> um, for a while, I had them on these two shelves, that shelf and that shelf. And more recently, I got this one at uh, Best Buy that holds um, more than both of those combined, uh, quite obviously. Okay, so, um, first off at the top, I actually got this at Comic-Con. Um, James got uh, was getting a couple prints from an artist, and um, uh, he kind of got me a deal if I if I got like I think I think I paid that like if he got two I would get like one at a discount or something like that so I think this picture is kind of cool it has like Batman and Spider-Man and Daredevil and a bunch of superheroes all in especially Blade Blade was one of the things that sold it Batman and Blade pretty much sold it for me um at a movie theater and uh, <laughs> I like the Dr. Octopus's arm. I don't even know if he's actually in the picture outside of his arm. Yeah, he's not in the picture. Um, he's taking Hulk's popcorn, and he's getting pissed. So is Wolverine. He's taking... Anyway, um, spending a lot of time talking about that. But yeah, okay, so I have that print. Um, I got uh, Batman the Animated Series, the Complete Series, Complete Series of Batman Beyond. Um, and then I got, uh, like, my Batman and Bane. They're kind of temporarily there. This this shelf is kind of temporary. Um, I actually told James after I put all my Blu-rays on here um, that he could have that one and that one um, over there. But since, um, like, Amazon's Black Friday and Cyber Monday and kind of Deals Week um, deals, I it was necessary to move my entire collection well not my entire collection but a lot of my extra blu-rays that i now have that no longer fit just this one um to another shelf which i got so much it is it really is a problem anyway so yeah i got those got those at comic-con actually got that at comic-con um so yeah let's see here got that little guy at comic-con the little batman um that was a picture from e3 um, for the Star Trek game, got a little golden homer that a fan sent um, very early on in the P.O. box. Um, also, Wario, <laughs> a fan sent the, the little Wario car um, because of uh, from the game nights, me doing the the Wario impression. Um, another fan sent Joker, little uh, toy. Fan sent um, little I, I love this. That little bat dance is awesome. Um, Homer Simpson, that was a companion to that. Um, I think that was like a piece to a game, and this was something else. This is just like a toy somebody sent. Um, fan sent. <laughs> See, I have all these like cool, awesome fan sent things. Um, fan sent um, Batman button thing, and then also got that at Comic Con, the little guy, uh, little Bane. Um, I don't have the Catwoman in this, but I'm definitely going to get the Catwoman of that series and maybe of the little ones and put it in the center. Don't know yet. Don't know yet. But anyway, okay, so something somebody asked me was how much of this collection have I actually watched? So I'm going to go through these and show you all of them and tell you which one of these I've seen. Um, so this might be kind of a longer video. So good luck. If any of you guys can go through and count how many Blu-rays I have, or well, some of these are DVDs. Like I have a lot of, when it comes to shows, I have DVDs. Um, so um, if you can come up with some sort of number, 
um, you're crazy for counting. <laughs> okay, so, okay, um, these are actually new. These are like brand new to the things. It's Star Trek, the original series. I'm a big Star Trek guy, hence why I have like all these Star Trek things right here. Um, Star Trek, the original series. Um, I haven't watched these yet. I just got these. Oh, yes, I'm going to pet them. I haven't watched these yet, but um, I've seen a lot of them just growing up. Um, watched all these. These are uh, the original series Star Trek movies and then the Next Generation Star Trek movies. Watched all those. J.J. Um, Abrams Star Trek. Watched that. Um, Star Trek Next Generation Season 1 on Blu-ray. Season 2 actually comes out soon. I'm going to get that, but I have not started to watch this yet. Um, season 1's kind of eh. But I'm, a, I'm kind of like a collectionist kind of person. I like to have everything, um, as you can tell from this. The first couple shelves are collections. But um, I haven't started to watch that yet. But I'm actually going through The Simpsons right now, which I have down here, and watching the entire series. I'm actually on season 11 or 12 now. I'm on season 12. Um, and then I have up to 14. But, uh, yeah, this is weird. Okay, so... I'm sorry, I watch a lot of things and own a lot of movies. Um, so I haven't watched any of this yet, but I'm going to. I will eventually get to the Star Trek. So many things to watch. Prometheus, uh, the four disc collection, questions will be answered, and they kind of were, but it's they cut out so many stupid things out of this movie that should have been in the movie. Um, but um, Prometheus watched Alien. I got this just before I went and saw Prometheus, so I could, because um, I had never seen the Alien movies, so I watched all of these. Um, watched those. War of the Rings, actually, when I got this, watched all of those. Um, that was a long... We're actually probably going to do a video on The Hub where we watch all of these in a row in preparation of The Hobbit, but uh, you'll see more of that later. Um, all the Matrixes, um, I've obviously seen all of these. I haven't watched them since I bought it, though on Blu-ray. Sorry, I keep probably going like that. Haven't watched that since I bought it. Um, Indiana Jones, I've seen those. Haven't watched them since I bought it. Jurassic Park, I've seen those. See, I, okay, I'm just going to say if I've seen it or not, whether, you know, I've watched it since I've gotten it or not, doesn't matter. Um, Jurassic Park, seen them. Um, the Godfather, I watched those when I was younger. Um, I've watched all of the first one and a little bit of the second one, never seen the third one. So I've been meaning to go through and watch all those. So yes, um, Batman Return of the Joker, excellent movie, seen that. Um, Batman Under the Red Hood, super excellent. I would recommend that to anybody. It's awesome. Um, Batman Year One, um, I did watch more recently. It was all right, wasn't crazy about it, but um, uh, graphic novel is excellent. So, I mean, it's pretty much graphic novel in cartoon form. You can't really ask for much else, but I thought it was kind of bland for some reason. Um, Batman Dark Knight Returns. I've read the graphic novel of that, but I haven't watched this yet. Sorry, I keep... Uh, it's hard watching between the two. Um, haven't watched that yet. Uh, the second part comes out at the end of next month, I believe. Um, Batman, uh, the movie that is the Adam West uh, movie from the 60s. Um, I have seen that. Batman seen it. Return, seen it, seen it, seen it. <laughs> um, Batman Begins and The Dark Knight, obviously I've seen those. Um, a lot of these first couple shelves I've definitely seen. Um, Dark Knight Rises doesn't come out until December 4th uh, in America on Blu-ray. There have been people tweeting me the special editions that they have, which I have pre-ordered. I just don't have it yet because it hasn't been released yet, so boop. Um, all of Christopher Nolan's movies, uh, Memento, Insomnia, I have everything but Following, but Following's on DVD and I don't, I haven't ordered that. Um, but, uh, Memento, Insomnia, Prestige, Prestige, probably my favorite movie. I've, I've kind of determined that more recently. Um, maybe I'll do a review on that eventually. Um, Inception, then all the Spider-Mans, seen all these, by the way. Um, The Amazing Spider-Man in 3D, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, anyway, um seen that, saw that in theaters. Um, Pirates 1, 2, and 3 I've seen. I started watching the fourth one. I got a little bit in and kind of got bored and stopped watching it, but um, I will finish that eventually. Okay, so Iron Man, Hulk, Iron Man 2, Captain America, Thor, Avengers. Seen all those. Seen all the X-Men's. I actually just got X-Men Origins Wolverine. I originally said I wasn't going to get that because it's a pretty shitty movie. But um, I, as I said before, I'm kind of a completionist. I like to have an entire collection. So um, saw the Mission Impossibles, saw the Transformers, seen the first men, two Men in Blacks. Um, this is actually brand new. This came today. Um, it's uh, 15 Alfred Hitchcock movies. Um, it's called the Masterpiece Collection. Um, I've seen a few of them. Um, 
I've seen like the birds. I've seen North by Northwest. I've seen rear view uh, window um, or rear window, <laughs> not rear view window. And uh, but I haven't seen Psycho, and I haven't seen some of his other movies. So I figured I would go through all of these and watch them. I actually want to see Hitchcock, uh, the movie that just came out um, or is coming out with Anthony Hopkins. So that's kind of why I got this. So I'll probably end up seeing Hitchcock on Blu-ray, but. Um, I, I like some of his movies, and I, you know, know he's kind of somebody who really kind of shapes cinema. So I wanted to get that because important. Um, all the Oceans movies, I've seen those. Back to the Future, saw those. Uh, the three Mummy movies, it's the Mummy trilogy. I like the first two, um, the first more than the second, and I haven't watched the third one. I've seen the first, like, I don't know, 10 minutes of it and kind of got bored. <laughs> but. Uh, uh, haven't watched the third one yet. It's kind of not crazy about it. Um, can't really see that that well. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Very good movie. Saw that. Um, now, these are all of the Planet of the Apes movies except for the Tim Burton one, um, which I guess I might get. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't crazy about that, but I was, I was really into Planet of the Apes when I was young. So um, I've seen the first three and parts of Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. Um, you can see the titles there. Because uh, <laughs> there's Planet of the Apes, Beneath the Planet of the Apes, Escape from the Planet of the Apes, Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, and then Battle for the Planet of the Apes. Um, so I've seen up to Conquest. Um, a little bit of Conquest. So, yeah. Um, Born movies, seen those. Um, I really love these movies. These are movies uh, based on the uh, Tom Clancy, Jack Ryan movies, or books. Um, on Friday, October, Patriot Games, Clear and Present Danger, and Some of All Fears. I've seen all those. Two Sherlock movies, Sherlock Holmes movies, like those. All the Harry Potter, seen those. All the Screams, those, I love the Scream movies. I saw those. Um, all the Saw movies, I have seen up to Saw 5, I think? I bought them all so I could watch them all. Um, it, I preferably did maybe do a marathon at some point. But um, I've seen up to Saw 5, I believe. Maybe so, just Saw 4, and then didn't see Saw 5. My brother and I had, had a marathon of, I think, the first four to go see the fifth one in theaters, and we never went and saw it. Um, but um, I've heard the last one was good, so hopefully it is. I don't know. Um, most of the Halloween movies, I have Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween 3, 4, 5, um, Michael Myers, H2O, and then um, the Rob Zombie Halloween. I don't have Resurrection because that movie's shit. Um, but I've seen the first two Halloweens. I, I had no idea there was a Halloween 3. Um, I mean, I knew there was because, you know, there has to be Halloween 3 between 2 and 4. But, man, this has nothing to do with Michael Myers. And apparently John Carpenter wanted to kind of de have a departure for the series and have it not just be about Michael Myers. And so this has, like, witches and, like, curses and weird shit in it. Um, so it's called the Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. <laughs> I had no idea that was an actual Halloween movie. Anyway, I bought it because they released it recently, and I figured it might be fun to watch. Um, James and I like, like watching kind of bad horror movies. Well, James, Seamus, and I, um, we have terrible... Anyway, we, we watch really bad horror movies, and they're hilarious. Um, I've seen the first Halloween, seen the second Halloween, haven't seen the third. I've seen the fourth. I don't know if I've ever seen the fifth. Have I seen the fifth? Yes, I have seen the fifth. I'm sorry. Um, I have seen the fifth. Um, because that's one with the little girl. Um, well, I mean, the fourth one has the little girl, but the little girl, um, can't speak in the fifth one or whatever. Um, I like the Halloween movies. Um, <laughs> Curse of Michael Myers, I've never seen all the way through. H2 I have. Uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween, I have. I started watching Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 and kind of got angry at it. Um, because it seemed like every character talked like Rob Zombie and it kind of annoyed me. So I kind of stopped watching it at that point. Um, I'm going to finish this rack, and then we'll go on to um, a part two of this, because this is going on kind of long. Um, you can't really read this. Um, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. There we go. Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, um, extended edition. Uh, this is the trilogy of the Swedish movies um, on Blu-ray. I have not watched them yet. Um, I've only seen The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, um, the Fincher version, which I have right there you can't even uh, yeah you can kind of see it there well if I put my hand there you can so I've seen the Fincher version I have not watched the originals I started watching one of them on Netflix a long time ago but stopped um, 
not because it was bored or anything, just because it wasn't necessarily holding my attention, and I was like, eh, I could be doing other things. Um, but not that it was bad. It wasn't bad. So I didn't give it much of a chance. So um, the, all the Rocky movies, that was an Amazon deal that I had to capitalize on. It was 20 bucks for all these. Usually it's like 60 bucks for this collection. So it's uh, six bucks for or six movies for 20 bucks. So, hey, can't go wrong with that. Um, I have seen most of these. I've seen like Rocky 1, Rocky 2, Rocky 3, a little bit of Rocky 5, and then Rocky Balboa I've seen. Um, all the Die Hard, seen all those. Um, God, Resident Evil, I don't even know why the fuck I have these. Um, <laughs> Resident Evil, um, I've seen the first three. Third was terrible. Um, the first two work, they're just, they, they're not Resident Evil movies, I'm sorry. They're, they're terrible. If you hold it to the standard of Resident Evil, they're terrible, but... Um, I was a big fan of the first three Resident Evil games. I kind of fell off after that, but um, yeah, Resident Evil. Anyway, I also have uh, Afterlife in 3D. Um, don't judge me. I just wanted to get it because um, I haven't watched it yet, though. So I'll have to watch it and see how bad it is. Um, Fast and Furious. Um, I have seen the first one and the majority of the second one. I fell asleep during the second one, actually. I actually liked the first one. I had seen parts of it up to the point where I sat down and watched it on Blu-ray. But, man, Fast and Furious 2 sucked compared to the first one. Um, and I fell asleep during it. But uh, I, I have no hopes for Tokyo Drift. And supposedly Fast uh, and Furious and Fast 5 are good. So we'll, we'll see whether or not those are good or not. Um... Uh, the Star Wars movies. I've obviously seen all those. Um, uh, yeah, I actually said when they released these that I would never get them. Um, but my brother got me um, the 4 through 7. Or 4 through 7. There's going to be a 7 one. Um, he got me 4 through 6 um, as a birthday present. and Or Christmas. Was it Christmas? No, birthday. I'm pretty sure it was birthday. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, so he got me that as a birthday present. And I was like, okay, well, I wouldn't said I wasn't going to get them, but since you got them, um, I guess that works. But then, more recently, I got the 1 through 3 because, I don't know, completionist. Um, I haven't watched these yet on Blu-ray, but I couldn't stand the changes George Lucas made um, for the newest release of these. It's so shitty. Um, I got the two Punisher movies. I've seen both of those. Um, I have all the Blade movie. I, I'm a Blade fan. I Yeah, I have the poster and... Um, I also have his sword and some of the knives and stuff in my room. Um, so I have Blade, Blade 2, Blade Trinity. Blade Trinity wasn't that great. Um, Blade the series on DVD. And actually, I just found this more recently. I had no idea there was a Blade animated series. Um, but I got this. There's actually him fighting Wolverine on the back of this thing right there. Um, uh, James told me to let him know if Steve Blum voiced him um, in the cartoon series. Because Steve Blum always voices him. So, um... Yeah, that's the, that's the, actually just the first two shelves in, in just shy of 20 minutes. So, um, part two and potentially more parts coming soon. Yay!